हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द क्लाउड बिग यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज मनोज एंड टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू माइग्रेट फ्रॉम ऑफिस 365 टू गूगल वर्क स्पेस सो लेट्स गो इन टू द प्रोसेस फर्स्ट वी नीड टू गो टू द गूगल वर्क स्पेस मेक श्योर यू हैव द एडमिन क्रीडेंशियल्स फॉर बोथ अकाउंट्स इफ यू आर परफॉर्मिंग द माइग्रेशन फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस थ्री टू गूगल वर्क स्पेस simply open gmail as you can see here this is my google workspace account so simply click on the logo and here you can see the option of admin console so click on the admin console so once you get into the admin console of google workspace you need to go into the account section so expand the account section and here you can see the option for data migration so click on data migration you can see here the data migration tab is open here you can see the option for setup data migration so simply click on setup data migration here you need to select a migration source so in the migration source we will select Microsoft Office 365. Once you have selected the migration source, you need to select the migration data type. Here you can see the option for calendar, contacts, and emails. So you have to migrate everything one by one. So we will see how to migrate email. The process is same for the contacts and calendar also. So we will simply click on email. so in the connection protocol you can select auto select or you can click on exchange web services and provide the details so we will select auto select here so now you need to authorize your office 365 accounts you need to click on authorize button as you can see here it took us to the microsoft login page and it is asking for the permission for data migration service so we will simply accept it now you can see here it is successfully authorized so here you can click on the start button so here you need to select the migration start date as you can see option here for past 1 year past 6 month past 3 months past 1 month or custom date in custom date you can select a single day email not a date range this is one of the limitation of this method as we can not migrate emails for more than 2 year or 1 year so we will click on the past 1 year you can see here the multiple options like migrate deleted emails migrate junk mail or you can simply exclude any folder if you want to we will migrate every data so we do not need to select any things here so here we need to click on select users as you can see here here is the option of add user and bulk migrate with csv if you need to migrate multiple users then you need to click on bulk migrate with csv and here you can see the format for the csv file like uh, google workspace email and source email so it will map the users you can create a csv file for the same and attach that file here so i am only migrating single user data so we will click here on add user so here we provide the source email like uh, office 365 email address we have provided here source email now we need to provide google workspace email in which we want to migrate our data as you type a uh, characters it will show you the suggestion so we will select here abhishek account and here click on the start button as you can see here the status it is showing as initializing so it will take some time in migrating your data like uh, it totally depends on how much data is available in your 
Office 365 account. Here you can see the migration is started and you can see the status here like it is showing 0%. Once the data migration has been completed, you can see the status as completed here. Further, if you want to migrate contacts also, then you need to repeat the process from the starting and select the contact where we have selected the emails. As you can see here, the data migration is almost completed like 99% and within few minutes, it will totally complete it. As you can see here, the status is showing as complete. So the data has been migrated successfully. So if you want to add more user data, so simply click on add user, again add source email and then Google workspace email, then click on the start button. It will automatically start migrating the data for another user. Thank you guys for watching the complete video. If you have any queries about this, you can ask us in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Also follow us on other social media platform. Social media links are in the description.